invite your attention tonight to the book of Luke, chapter 11, begin with verse 29, reading through from chapter 11, verse 29 of Luke. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. They seek a sign. There shall no sign be given it but the sign of Jonas the prophet. For as Jonas was a sign unto the Ninevites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonas. And behold, a greater than Jonas is here. My text tonight is taken from the 11th chapter of this book of Luke, verses 31 and 2. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. And behold, a greater than Jonah is here. Let's praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the shepherds. You may be seated in Jesus' name. <laughs> My subject tonight, the incomparable Christ. More than 1900 years ago, there was a man born contrary to the laws of life. This man was born in poverty and reared in obscurity. He did not travel extensively. Only once did he cross the boundary of the country in which he lived, and that was during his exile during childhood. He possessed neither wealth nor influence. His relatives were inconspicuous, uninfluential, and had neither training nor education. In infancy, he startled a king. In childhood, he puzzled the doctors. And in manhood, he ruled the course of nature. Yeah walked upon the sea as a pavement and hiced a tempest to sleep. He healed the multitudes without medicine and made no charge for his service. He never owned a home. He never traveled 200 miles from the place where he was born. He never had a family. He never went to college. He never wrote a book. And yet all the libraries of the world could not hold the books that have been written about him. He never wrote a song, and yet he has furnished the theme for more songs than all the songwriters combined. He never practiced medicine, and yet he has healed more broken hearts and sick bodies than all the doctors of the world put together. He never founded a school or established a college, and yet all the schools put together cannot boast of having as many students. He never marshaled an army, or drafted a soldier, or fired a gun, and yet no leader has had more volunteers who have, under his orders, made more rebels stack arms and surrender without a shot being fired. Every seventh day the wheels of commerce cease. And multitudes win their way to worshiping places to pay homage and respect to him. The names of past proud statesmen of Greece and Rome have come and gone. But the name of this man, 
abounds more and more. Though time has spread more than 1900 years between the people of this generation and the scene of His crucifixion, yet He still lives. Herod could not kill Him. Satan could not seduce Him. Death could not destroy Him. And the grave could not hold Him. He stands forth tonight on the highest pinnacle of heavenly glory, proclaimed by God, adored by angels, feared by devils, as the living personal Christ, our Lord and our Savior, the incomparable Christ. I'm far within my mark tonight when I say that there never was another who caused all creation to be ransacked to find similitudes and symbols to convey to human hearts and minds His glorious preeminence. There never was another who was a human child and also a divine son who was wounded by Satan and who at the same time crushed Satan. There never was another who was the judge of men and yet he was led as a felon from one tribunal to another. There never was another who was the Savior of all mankind and yet was crucified on Calvary. There never was another who died and was buried and yet he lives. Who had no sin in him and yet the sin of the whole wide world was upon him. There never was another who saved others and himself he would not save. Who was incarnate wisdom and yet he was derided as a fool. There never was another who was the king of glory yet he wore no crown but a crown of thorns. There never was another who was the prince of peace and yet he was accused to his face of being a serious man and a disturber of the public peace. There never was another who was the Lord of Sabbath and yet he was accused of being a Sabbath breaker. There never was another who was the truth and yet he was accused to his face of being a liar, a hypocrite, and an imposter. There never was another who was the Prince of Life yet died on Calvary, death's conqueror transfixed on a spear. There never was another who was the lion of the tribe of Judah with power to crush kingdoms under his feet. And yet he was led as a lamb to the slaughter. There never was another who spake as never a man spake. And yet as a sheep is before her shearers dumb, so he openeth not his mouth never answering railing with railing. There never was another who poured all the lakes, all the rivers, all the oceans out of the crystal chalices of eternity. And yet on a cross with a mouth that was hot like an Arkansas furrow that cries for rain, he said, I thirst, I thirst. There never was another who came from glory to glory, who put on humanity that we might put on divinity, who became the Son of Man that we might become the sons of God. There never, ever was another who was rich, who was rich, who was rich, yet for our sakes he became poor, that we through his poverty might be made rich. There never was another who traversed the stars and the clouds were the dust of his feet, yet he pushed back the stars and came to a stable in Bethlehem to be born of a woman. There never was another who put on corruptible flesh that we might put on incorruptible, who put on a mortal body that we might put on an immortal body. Let me tell you, there never was another who had and who has a name far above all names that's named. Hallelujah! Not only in this world, but in the one to come. With joy, I tell you, His name is Jesus. With joy, I tell you, His name is Jesus. Hallelujah!
Let's say it together. Jesus. Say it again. Jesus. Oh God. Sheila my Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. He was Emmanuel, God with us. He was God's eternal dream dramatized. He was pity's tears in bloody crystals. He was justice married to mercy. He was righteousness and peace in fond embrace. He was eternal beauty adorning appalling deformity. He was the creator wedded to his creation. He was God's eternal love consummated. Pity's tears and bloody crystals. Oh God, I love him tonight. I love him tonight. You can find in Him anything that you need. He'll be everything you ever have a need for having tonight. I tell you with all my heart, you'll find in Jesus an access that'll never be discontinued. An assurance that'll never be disappointed. An attraction that'll never be superseded. An acceptance that will never be questioned. You'll find in Jesus a bank that'll never be closed. Beauty that will never be marred. You'll find in Jesus comfort that will never be lessened. Deliverance that will never be thwarted. Forgiveness that will never be rescinded. Glory that can never be dimmed. Grace that can never be arrested. Happiness that can never be interrupted. Hope that can never be disappointed. Joy that will never be suppressed. Judgment that will never be repeated. Justification that will never be reversed. You'll find in Him inheritance that can never be alienated. He is an intercessor who can never be disqualified. Hallelujah! You'll find in Jesus knowledge that can never be baffled. Life that can never die. Love that can never be fathomed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Light that will never know darkness. Nature that will never be changed. Peace that will never be understood. Purity that will never be defiled. Portion that can never be denied. You'll find in Jesus rest that can never be disturbed. Righteousness that can never be tarnished. A revelation that can never be destroyed. A resurrection that can never be hindered. You'll find in Jesus a title that can never be clouded. Strength that can never be enfeebled. You'll find in Jesus salvation that can never be annulled. A seal that can never be violated. Service that will never go unrewarded. A standing that can never be uh, disqualified. You'll find in Jesus wealth that can never be bankrupt. You'll find in Jesus wisdom that can never be baffled. I love Him. 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 Don't you love Him today? No wonder. No wonder. This universality of Christ, the world over, they love Him. The black, the white, the yellow, the red, every color of all peoples, when they find Him, they have found a friend. Oh, it was the Englishman that wrote, Jesus, lover of my soul. An American wrote, Oh, my, my, Jesus, Savior, pilot me. A Canadian wrote, What a friend we have in Jesus. An Irishman wrote, There is a green hill far away. A German wrote, Away in a manger. A Frenchman wrote, Jesus, the very thought of thee. And then a Scotsman wrote, Under the hills around. So you see, wherever you go, when you find Jesus, you find everything. When you find Jesus, you find everything. Can you say amen to that? In just a little bit of searching of history, I've come up with the startling realization 
that whenever you find a great man in history, it isn't long before you find another man equally as great and equally as good in the same vocation or the same occupation or whatever he may be trying to do. So you can match one great man with another great man. For instance, Homer of the Greeks was great, but you can match him with Virgil who was just as great. Demosthenes, the silver tongue orator of Greece, finds his equal in Cicero, the Roman. Edmund Burke, whose impeachment speech withered all the flowers of hope in Warren Hastings garden, is equal or even surpassed by William Jennings Bryan, whose words were like flights of golden arrows. Dante, who listened to hell's uproar and the hot breath of hell's inferno, runs not one step ahead of Milton, the blind Baptist bard who wrote the world's greatest epic, Paradise Lost. Shakespeare, from whose pen words flowed like golden pollen from the stems of shaken lilies, has his place disputed by Bacon, one of the greatest intellects of centuries. Tennyson, with his psalm and poem crossing the bar, has a high pedestal. But beside him, my friend, is Longfellow with his psalm of life. Scotland lifts up her voice in the praise of Sir Walter Scott. But in the same breath, they praise with as great a glory and honor Robert Burns, whose pen seemed to be a point in which choruses of nightingales and sobbing angels were imprisoned and let loose. Among preachers, Wesley, whose prescription for good health was a little more hard work, stands in equal splendor with Whitefield and Jonathan Edwards, who lighted revival fires that burned out the cross of nation. Virgin was great, and Carol, the theological juggernaut. But so was Henry Ward Beecher, who let all the bells in his belfry ring out for God. Alexander conquered the world, but so does Caesar. Napoleon was a great general, but he was defeated at Waterloo by Wellington. You could put side by side Plato and Socrates, Aristotle and Isocrates, Zoroaster and Confucius, Buddha and Mohammed, Avaranola and Chrysanthemum, Luther and Whitecliffe, Cromwell and Pitt, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson, John Adams and James Madison, General Robert E. Lee and General Andrew Jackson. You could put side by side, write together General Grant with also General Zachary Taylor and Nathan Hale with Patrick Henry. Yes, my brother, you could put side by side Hernandez. De Soto with Ponce de Leon, Christopher Columbus with Magellan. Yes, you could put Beethoven, then Mendelssohn, Mozart, then Brahms, Chopin, then Bach, Handel, and then Tchaikovsky. Then you'd have to put side by side. You would have to put Daniel Boone with the other great explorers that came on the scene, like the Clarks that went out west. Then you could put side by side with them, Richard Byrd and Robert Berry, Alexander Alexander Graham Bell and uh, Samuel Morse. You could put Albert Einstein and Thomas Edison side by side. You could put uh, Walter Reed, uh, amen, right up side by side with Albert Schweitzer. And then you could put Andrew Carnegie with Andrew Melian. And you could put uh, right along with them uh, Commodore Vanderbilt with John D. Rockefeller. And then Henry Ford with Jay Gould. And then Robert Fulton. But you'd have to match the Wright brothers. Cyrus McCormick, uh, then Eli Whitney. Daniel Webster, but then you'd have to talk about uh, one of the greatest intellects that we've had, Winston Churchill of our time. And you could put Chaucer and then and then Browning. Mark Twain, you'd have to put him with Will Rogers. And you'd have to put Samuel Johnson with Oliver Wendell Holmes. And Sir Isaac Newton, well, you'd have to match him up with Gallio. And then Michelangelo, with, uh, with, you'd have to match him up with Rembrandt. Then Ferdy and Gothi, you'd have to put side by side these great men. Uh, Molly Pitcher and Grace Darling, uh, Florence Nightingale with Anne Hasseltine, Charles Lindbergh with Wiley Post.
Wallace and, and, and uh, Rogers uh, with Cobb and, and side by side Francis Willard and Henrietta Hall Shuck. Then the Bible has its share. Abraham with Noah. Enoch with Isaac. Jacob with Jephthah. Joseph with Moses. Aaron with Joshua. Gideon, Gideon with uh, Samson. Eli with Samuel. David with Solomon. Elijah with Elisha. Job with the three Hebrew children. Isaiah and Jeremiah. Ezekiel and Daniel. Hosea and Joel. Amos with Obadiah. And Jonah with Nahum. And Nathan the prophet. And Zephaniah with Habakkuk. Amen. And, and Zechariah with Malachi. Paul with Peter, James, John, Matthew, Mark, Andrew, Luke, Philip, Bartholomew, Timothy with Titus, Apollos with Silas, John the Baptist with Stephen. These were all great men, mighty men, wonderful men. But when we mention Jesus Christ, He stands alone. He stands if a group of illustrious men came together and Shakespeare was to enter their shining company, they'd all stand up to honor Shakespeare. But if Jesus Christ came walking in, they'd all fall on their faces to worship Him. That's the way I believe it too. I believe that, that Napoleon was right when he was asked what he thought about Jesus. Napoleon confesses the glistening garments that Jesus wears when he said, I know men, and I tell you, Jesus Christ was not a man. <laughs> Don't we know it, Pentecostals? <laughs> Hallelujah! Then when Emerson was asked when he made his long list of representative men of greatness, why he didn't put Jesus in that long list? Well, Emerson said, it just takes too much strength of constitution to do that. Oh, he's wonderful tonight. I tell you, that name of Jesus is honey to the mouth, music to the ear, gladness to the heart. You could search the long annals of proud Rome and Greece, the tombs of war, the chronicles of peace. You could ransack the old and the modern rolls of fame to fit the brightest splendor on a name. The name above all names. 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 Is Jesus. 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 Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The greatest word is God. The deepest word is soul. The longest word is eternity. The swiftest word is time. The nearest word is now. The darkest word is sin. The meanest word is hypocrisy. The broadest word is truth. The strongest word is right. The tenderest word is love. The sweetest word is heaven. The dearest word is mother. But the best word of them all is Jesus. Oh, it's Jesus in the morning. Jesus in the nighttime. Jesus when you're young. Jesus when you're old. It's Jesus all the way through. Let's say that word together. Jesus. Say it again. Jesus. Say it again. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Precious name, oh, how sweet. I believe it, don't you? I believe it's a hope of earth. 
Thank you, Jesus. Take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of woe. It will joy and comfort give you. Take it then wherever you go. i got a name with me tonight that has control over demons, over sickness, control over disease. Thank you, Jesus. I love that name of Jesus. Hallelujah! There are over 2,200 languages and dialects in the world. And my brother, in every one of them, the greatest name of them all is Jesus. I don't care where you go, what you speak. The greatest name you'll ever say is Jesus. Let's say it one more time. Jesus! Once more. Jesus! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus! Now let me preach a little bit about that name. Psalms 34, 3 said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. So let's exalt His name together tonight. I know what that name can do, don't you? David told the giant when he faced him in 1 Samuel 17, verse 45, Thou comest to me with sword and spear and with the shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Psalms 20 verse 7, David said, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Psalm 72, 17, the writer said, His name shall endure forever. His name shall continue as long as the sun. <laughs> I'm glad I'm baptized in that name, aren't you? Psalms 111, verse 9, Holy and reverend is His name. Psalms 113, verse 3, From the rising of the sun under the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. <laughs> Proverbs 18 and verse 10 said, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe, safe, safe. Jesus prayed and told us in Matthew 6 verse 9, Hallowed be thy name. This is a hallowed name, a holy name, a sanctified name, a pure name, not a taint of scandal, not a remnant of sin, pure through and through, the lovely, lovable, matchless, supernal, incomparable, unfathomable, inexhaustible, wonderful, Wonderful name of Jesus. 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 Holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. Hallowed be thy name. The disciples came to Jesus one day all excited. In Luke 10 verse 17, the 70 returned again with joy saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. <laughs> oh, aren't you glad for that tonight? Well, Jesus said in Mark 16, 17, These signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils. <laughs> in my name shall they cast out devils. <laughs> Listen to what Jesus said in the book of John chapter 14 and verse 13. Jesus said, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now some say Jesus prayed in the garden to God the Father. The Son prayed to the Father. And you've got one God praying to another God. Of course, He couldn't do that without undeifying Himself. It was the flesh praying to the Spirit. Psalm 65, 2 said, O thou that hearest prayer unto thee shall all flesh come. Hebrews 8, 5 said, Jesus in the days of His flesh offered up prayer. He prayed for an example. But not only did He pray, the one that prayed, He also answers prayer. John 14, 14, If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. John 16, 23, Jesus said, And whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, He will give it you. Hitherto ye have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Are you lonely? Breathe the name of Jesus. Discouraged? Breathe the name of Jesus. Need a healing touch? Breathe the name of Jesus. Need a door opened up? Breathe the name of Jesus. Got a mountain you can't climb? A river you can't cross? Breathe the name of Jesus. You got a devil on your trail? Breathe the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah! Use it! Use it! Use it! In John 20, verse 31, 
The Bible said that these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ and that believing you might have life through His name. Life comes through His name. And we're going to get to this and I'm going to hurry on now. Not through His titles. Not through His titles. Last night I set up and counted them. There's 1,204. I thought I only had 1,100 some. I hadn't counted for a while. There's 1,204 of them. Now life don't come through His titles. It comes through His name. Because everything's in His name. All power is in His name. All glory is in His name. The church is in His name. Healing is in His name. Heaven's in His name. Angels are in His name. Everything's in that name. Woo! Hallelujah! Say that name with me! Jesus! Might have life through His name. Acts 15, 14 said, Simon hath declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for His name. 1 Corinthians 6, 11 said, Justified in His name. Ephesians 1, 20, which God, the Bible said, raised Him from the dead and set Him at His own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come if father would be a name it's a title but stretching the point if it would be a name jesus names above it because it's above every name that's named not only in this world but also in that which is to come colossians 3 17 for whatsoever you do in word or deed do all in the name of the lord jesus do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen? Amen. Philippians 2 verse 9, Wherefore God also hath highly exalted Him and given Him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Son, no. That at the name of Wonderful, no. That at the name of Advocate, no. Those are titles. At the name of Counselor, no. Almighty God, no. Oh, no. But at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! I love that name! I love that name! Hebrews 13, 15 tells us, By Him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to His name. <laughs> I'm not praising Michael or Gabriel or a cherubim or a seraphim with His flaming sonnets of glory. I'm not bowing before some gate of pearl, street of gold. I'm not polishing some relic of a saint and praying to the dead eyeball of a saint. No, 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 no. I'm bowing my knee to the name of the God that's above every God. The name of a God that heals, that lives, that moves, that fills with the Holy Ghost. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. I'm a worshiper of His name. I'm a lover of His name. Hallelujah. Now let's go on quickly. What is the name of God? First of all, Proverbs 30 verse 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in His fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is His name? And what is His Son's name? If thou canst tell. Okay, let's find out the name. Going now to John 1 verse 11. He came unto His own, and His own received Him not. But as many as received Him, to them gave He power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. John 17 verse 11. Jesus is praying now. Jesus said, And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. Holy Father, keep through Thine own name thine own name, those that thou gavest me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. In what? The Father's name. Alright, John 12, 28. Father, glorify thy name. You remember Matthew 6, 9 said, Hallowed be thy name. Alright, Father, glorify thy name. There came a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. <laughs> and now then, quickly, to Hebrews 1, verse 4. The Bible said, being made so much better than the angels, Angels, and he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. He inherited his name from the Father. John 5, 43, I am come in my Father's name. Now back to John 17, verse 6. Jesus said, I have manifested, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Verse 26, and I have declared unto them thy name and will declare it. 
Oh, hallelujah. Now, when was that name declared? When was that name declared? Let's cautiously now go to Matthew 1, verse 21. Let's hear it declared. Let's hear it by the angel. And she shall bring forth the Son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sin. Hallelujah! Jesus is the name of the Father. How many are glad you know the Father's name? Hebrews 4.12 said, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Jesus is the salvation name of God. Jesus is the salvation name of God. The only way you're going to know Him is through the name of Jesus. Salvation is in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells me when Philip preached the revival in Samaria in Acts 8 verse 12, and they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They were baptized. They were baptized. Why were they baptized? Because remission of sins is only in the name of Jesus. Only in the name of Jesus. Any other way you were baptized, you just got wet. There's but one name heaven honors. There's but one name heaven bows to. There's but one name that will wash your sins away. There's but one name that will burst upon. That will snap the fetters. That will break the that will break the chains. There's but one name, one name, one name, one name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus! Let me prove it to you quickly. John 3, 18. He that believeth on the Son, a man shall not see life. Why? He that believeth on Him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. In the name. You say, well, the name isn't any important. John 3, 18, sir, says it is. Furthermore, Luke 24, 47. And that repentance, catch this now, and remission of sins should be preached in His name. Acts 10, 43. To Him gave all the prophets witness that through His name, whosoever believeth in Him shall receive remission of sins. First John 2, 12. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for His name's sake. Acts 2, 38. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That's the way your sins are remitted. By water baptism in Jesus' name. Baptized in Jesus' name, Acts 2.38, Acts 8.16, name of the Lord Jesus, Acts 10.48, Acts 19, verse 5. Paul said in Romans 6, verse 3, No, you're not so many of us as we're baptized into Jesus Christ. We're baptized into His death. Colossians 2.12 said, Therefore, uh, we, are, we are buried with Him in baptism. And Galatians 3.27 said, Amen, for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Remission of sins is only in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Name singular of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the name of the Father. Glory be to God. John 5.43 I'm coming my Father's name. John 10.30 I'm my Father are one. First John 2.20 You have an unction from the Holy One and know all things. One, 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 one. He's the name of the Son. Matthew 1.21 It's the name of the Holy Holy Ghost. John 14, 20, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. In my name. In my name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, brother, let me tell you, miracles are in that name. Acts 3, verse 6, Peter said to the lame man at the gate, Beautiful, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee, abracadabra, open sesame, alpha sham. No. He said, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Amen. In verse 16 of that same third chapter of Acts, Peter said, And his name, through faith in his name, hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Preaching the next day, Acts 4.10, Peter said, Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand before you whole. Verse 30, chapter 4, the same book of Acts, Peter said, And that signs and wonders may be done, 
done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. There's but one wonder working name. There's but one miracle working name. There's but one name, one name. Jesus is that name. Jesus is that name. Jesus is that name. Hallelujah! Haven't you ever read James 5 verse 14 closely? Is there any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. <laughs> when that name of Jesus touches a fevered brow, it retreats like the dew before the blazing sun. When that name of Jesus walks in the back roads of your mind and the basement of your soul, that name can clean out all the garbage and all the rubbish of your life. When that name of Jesus finds its lodging place by water baptism, you have taken on a name. You you are a son and child of God when you're born to the water and of the Spirit. You can use it. No devil can back you up. That name will see you through. That name will walk with you through the valley of the shadow of death. It will help you climb every mountain. That name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's praise Him together. Oh, hallelujah. Let's say it together, everybody. You know, it was said of Philip when he preached to the Ethiopian eunuch in Acts 8.35 that he opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. There's just something about the dynamic versatility, incomparability, unexhaustibleness of this wonderful Jesus. You can find him in every book of the Bible, every corner of the globe, and everywhere you go, he's there. Hallelujah. He's everywhere! Everywhere! Any serious student of the Word will find Him throughout the Bible from the book of Genesis clear through to the book of Revelation. You'll find Jesus. Right. He is everything. Why, bless your heart, we could be just like Philip and open our mouth and start preaching Jesus. Right out of the book of Genesis, we find Him. He is our Creator. In Exodus, He's our Passover Lamb. In Leviticus, He's our High Priest. In Numbers, He's our pillar of cloud by day and pillar of fire by night. Hallelujah living Redeemer, for I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that He shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. <laughs> Hallelujah! In the book of Psalms, He's our shepherd. Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, wisdom and perfection. Song of Solomon, He's our lover and bridegroom. Isaiah, the prince of peace. Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. The righteous branch, lamentation, the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, the wonderful four-faced man. In Daniel, He's the fourth man in the midst of life's fiery furnaces. Why, in Hosea, He's the faithful husband. In Joel, hallelujah, He's the baptizer with the Holy Ghost and with fire. In Amos, He's our burden bearer. Obadiah, the mighty to say. In the book of Jonah, he's the great foreign missionary. In Micah, he's the ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from old, from everlasting. In Nahum, he's the messenger that bringeth peace, that publisheth good tidings. In Habakkuk, he's God's evangelist, crying, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. In Zephaniah, he's our savior. In Haggai, why, he's the restorer of God's lost heritage. In Zechariah, he's the fountain opened up to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and uncleanness. In Malachi, he's the son of righteousness rising with healing in his wings. In Matthew, the Messiah. Mark, the wonder worker. Luke, the son of man. John, the son of God. In Acts, he's the Holy Ghost. In Romans, he's our justifier. For Second Corinthians, our sanctifier. Galatians, he's the redeemer from the curse of the law. In Ephesians, he's the Christ of unsearchable riches. In Philippians, he's my God who shall supply all your needs according to His riches and glory. Why, in Colossians, He's the fullness of the Godhead bodily. <laughs> First and Second Thessalonians, soon coming King. First and Second Timothy, the one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Book of Titus, He's our pastor. Philemon, He's the friend that sticker closer than a brother. Why, in the book of Hebrews, He's the blood of the everlasting covenant. In James, He's the great physician for the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he's committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. First and second Peter, he's the chief shepherd who soon shall appear with a crown of unfading glory. First, second 
third John, he's love. In the book of Jude, he's the Lord coming with two thousands of his saints. In Revelation, he's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory! God bless your heart. He's Aaron's rod that budded. He's Abraham's ram. Moses' burning bush. He's Joshua's trumpet. He's Daniel's visions. He's Ezekiel's waters to swim in. He's Miriam's song. He's Jacob's ladder. Isaac's a bride. Oh, hallelujah. He's Paul's handkerchiefs and aprons. He's Simon Peter uh, that helped him on the day of Pentecost. And he's, uh, and he's John's pearly white city. He's Samson's strength. He's Solomon's wisdom. He's Elijah's mantle. He's David's slingshot. Woo! My God, He'll be everything to you. He'll be everything to you. He'll be everything. Why, bless your heart. Let me tell you, to the architect, He's the chief cornerstone. To the artist, He's the one altogether lovely. To the astrologer, He's the sun of righteousness and the bright morning star that arose above the moonlit hills of Judea for our salvation and redemption. <laughs> Hallelujah. To the carpenter, He's the nail in the door. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. To the disconsolate, He is the comforter. Amen. To the drifter, He's the anchor. To the educator, He's the great teacher. To the doctor, He's the... Position. To the engineer, he's the polished shaft and the new and the living way. To the farmer, he's the lord of the harvest. To the florist, he's the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valley. To the geologist, he's the rock of ages. To, uh, hallelujah, the genealogist, he's the name above every name. To the horticulturist, he's the true vine. To the botanist, why, he's the rose of Sharon and the tender plant. Hallelujah! To the jurist, he is the faithful witness. To the jeweler, the pearl of great price. The lawyer, why, he's the counselor of the advocate. To the judge, he's the righteous judge. To the newspaper man, he's the good tidings of great joy to all people. To the oculus, he's the light of the world. To the philanthropist, he's the unspeakable gift. The philosopher, the wisdom of God. The preacher, the word of God. <laughs> well, hallelujah! To the potter, he is... The clean vessel. Let me tell you to the sculptor, he's the living stone. The student, the incarnate truth. Hallelujah. To the traveler, the new and living way. A toiler, he's the giver of rest. To the thirsty, he's the drink of water. To the theologian, he's the author and the finisher of our faith. To the zoologist, he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. But let me just cut it short now. To the sinner, he's the lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. The lamb of God. The lamb of God that taketh away. you I agree with Matthew Bridges who wrote a poem crown him with many crowns the lamb upon his throne hark how the heavenly anthem drang, drowns all music but its own awake my soul and sang of him who died for thee and hail him as thy matchless king throughout all eternity Christ him the Lord of love. Behold his hands inside, rich wounds. Oh God, get visible above in beauty glorified. No angel can fully bear that sight, but downward beams his beaming eye at mysteries so bright. Crown him the Lord of love. Crown him the Lord of peace, whose power a scepter sways from pole to pole that wars may cease absorbed in prayer and praise. His reign shall know no end and round his pierced feet fair flowers of paradise extend their fragrance ever sweet. Crown 
Him, the Lord of years, the potentate of time, creator of the rolling spheres, ineffably sublime. All hail, Redeemer, hail! For Thou hast died for me. Thy praise shall never, never fail. Through all eternity, I love Him. 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 Let's praise that name of Jesus. Stand with me and praise Him right now. Oh. But you know who he means most to tonight? Not the world that don't understand and appreciate him. He means most to his bride, people that's been baptized in his name, filled with his spirit. Oh, the unsearchable riches of God, his ways past finding out. He's so marvelous tonight. I love this Christ, don't you? Say Jesus again. You see, when Jesus said in Matthew 28, 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. He could just as well have put some other titles or offices in those places. Father, Son, Holy Ghost are titles or offices that the same one God, Jesus, namely the one solitary person of the Godhead, there being none other, possesses all of these offices, being Father in creation, and I won't go into the scriptures, uh, Genesis 1, 1, Genesis 44, 24, and uh, Psalms 136, 4, and then compare that with uh, Colossians 1, 16 to 18, with John 1, verse uh, 3 and verse 10. And he is the creator, and he's father in creation, son for redemption, Matthew 1, 21, amen, John 3, 16, 1 Timothy 1, 15, etc. And he's the Holy Ghost in the church. John 14, 18, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Colossians 1, 27, Christ in you. 2 Corinthians 13, 5, Jesus Christ is in you. Uh, Galatians 2, 20, Christ liveth in me. And Ephesians 3, 17, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Galatians 4, 6, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out of the Father. All with Ephesians 4, 4, 7, there's one Spirit. So, He's Father, He's Son, He's Holy Ghost. And He's a lot more than that. He possesses he possesses innumerable almost titles. He is a lot of things. And when Jesus said baptize in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost, if you look at that, it says name singular of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Ghost. Whenever we find out what that name is, we're supposed to baptize in it. I'm glad I know what the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is. Say praise the Lord. Now then, here we go. I'm going to give you some titles. Every one of them has a scriptural reference. I cannot give all the scriptural references. It would take too long. I have them. You may check them, look them up at your leisure. But these titles are in your Bible. Jesus is every one of them and so much more. Oh, hallelujah. Let's just praise Him before we start. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> He's called in the Bible, Abba, Abel, abundant in goodness and truth, acquainted with grief, admire, adonai, advocate, afflicted, all in all, all my goodness, almighty, almighty God, Alpha and Omega. He's called altar, altogether lovely, amen, a high place, anchor of the soul, ancient of days, angel, angel of God, angel of his presence. Angel which redeemed me from all evil. Anointed. Anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. Anointed earth. Apostle. Apple tree. Arm. Arm of the Lord. Arm of His strength. Author and finisher of our faith. Author of eternal salvation. Avenger. Bela, meaning my master. 
He's called Babe, Banner upon the high mountains, Baptizer with the Holy Ghost and with fire. He is called Bear that is bereaved of his wealth. He's called Beautiful and Glorious, Beauty. He's called before all things. He is called beginning and the end. Beginning of the creation of God. Beloved. Beloved of their souls. Beloved sons. He's called better than the angels. Bishop. Blameless. Blessed. Blessed God. Blessed hope. Blood of the covenant. Blood of the Lamb. Branch. Branch of righteousness. Branch of the Lord. Bread of God. Bread of life. Bread which cometh down from heaven. He's called the breaker, the breath of the Almighty, the bridegroom, bright morning star, brightness of his glory. He is called the breaker. Amen. The brother. He's called the brother of James, the brother of Judah, the brother of Joseph, the brother of Simon, bruised for our iniquities. Bruiser. Amen. Amen. The buckler, the buckler to all them that trust in him. The builder, the builder of the temple. Amen. 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 He's the burner, the burning coals of fire, the bundle of myrrh. By him all things consist. He's the call. He's the call of God. The captain, the captain of the Lord's host, the captain of their salvation. Amen. He's called carpenter, carpenter's son, chastiser. He's called child, child Jesus, chosen, chosen of God. Christ, Christ the King, Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus our Lord, Christ in God. He's called Christ the Lord, Christ the, uh, of God. He's called uh, Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. He's called cleanser, cloud, cloudy pillar, cluster of camphor. He's called, uh, my friend, comforter, coming one, communion of the Holy Ghost, commander to the people. He's called confidence, confidence of all the ends of the earth, confidence of them that are far off upon the sea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's called consecrated, consolation of Israel. He's continuing whirlwind, consuming fire, counselor, covenant maker, covenant of the people, covered, covered from storm and from rain, creator, creator of the ends of the earth, creator of Israel, creditor, crown of glory, curse. Oh, hallelujah. He's called David, David's son, day dawn, day spring from on high, day star, daysman, dear son, declarer of the Father's name, defender. Delight, deliver for our offenses, raised again for our justification, deliver her. He's called desire of all nations. Hallelujah. He's called the destroyer, the devouring fire, the dew, the diadem of beauty, the designer, dissolver of all things, the divider, the dominion, the door, the door knocker, the door of sheep, the dread, the dreadful God. Hallelujah. The dwelling place. He's called the eagle. He's called El, El Elyon, God the highest, El Gibbar, the mighty God, El Olam, the everlasting God, El Shaddai, the almighty God, El Roy, he's called the God of Seeing, he's called the elect, Emmanuel, end of the law, instant of the people, he's called equal with God, eternal God, eternal life, eternal spirit, everlasting arms, everlasting father, everlasting God, everlasting king, and everlasting life, <laughs> he's called the exalted, he's called the exalted far above all gods, exalted in judgment, hallelujah, the example, the exceeding great reward, the excellency, the excellent, the excellent in power and judgment and in plenty of justice. He's called the excellent worker, the executor of judgment. He's called the express image of his person. He's called the eye of the Lord. He's called the fairer than the children of men. The faithful, the faithful creator, the faithful God which loveth, uh, giveth mercy to them that love him. He's called the faithful high priest, faithful to him that appointed him, the faithful witness. He's called the father, the father returned the Father of lights, the Father of mercies, the Father of spirits, the Father of the firstborn from the dead, firstborn of every creature, firstborn son, first fruits, first fruits of them that slept. He's called flash of lightning, flesh, forerunner. He's called forgiver of sins. He is called former rain. He is called former of all things. He, hallelujah, he's called for him are all things and by him are all things. He's the fortress, foundation, foundation of God. Amen. The fountain, the fountain of living waters, the fountain of life, the free spirit, the friend. He's the friend of publicans and sinners. He's the friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He's the fruit of the earth. Hallelujah. He's called the fuller soap. He's called the fullness, fullness of the Godhead bodily. He's the Galilean. He's the gatherer, the gatherer of lambs, the gatherer of wheat. He's the gentleness. He's the gift of God.
God the King, the glorious in His apparel, the glorious in holiness, the glory, the glories of the only begotten of the Father, the glory of, of Israel, the glory of the Father, the glory of the Gentiles, the glory of the Lord, the glory of their strength, the glory of thy people Israel. He's called God. He's called God Almighty. God alone. God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God at hand. God blessed forever. God manifest in the flesh. God in heaven above. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God my exceeding joy. God my maker. God my rock. God of all comfort. God of all grace. God of all the families of the earth. God of all the kingdoms of the world. He's called the God of Daniel. The God of David. The God of forces. The God of glory. The God of grace. Hallelujah. 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 He's called the God of Hezekiah, the God of hope, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, the God of Jerusalem, the God of Jerusalem, the God of judgment. He is called the God of love. Hallelujah. The God of knowledge, the God of my Father, the God of my life, the God of my mercy, the God of my righteousness, the God of my salvation, the God of my strength, the God of Nahor. He's called the God of peace, the God of patience and consolation. He is called the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The God of thy fathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, hallelujah, God of the armies of Israel, God of the Hebrews, God of the Jews and Gentiles, God of the living, God of the spirits of all flesh, God of the whole earth, he's called the God of truth, hallelujah, 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 he's called God, our Savior, God, our seal, God ready to pardon, amen, God slow to anger, God that cannot lie, God that formed thee, God that forsook us thee not, God that has pleasure in uprightness, God that hideth thyself, God that tries the heart, God that judgeth in the earth, God the Father, God the Lord, God upon the earth, hallelujah, God in the heaven above, God which do us great things and, and wonderful, God which do us marvelous things without number, God which keepeth covenant, God which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward, God which showeth mercy unto thy uh, people that walk before thee with all their heart, God who fed me all my life long until this day, God who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were, hallelujah, he's called God with us. God without iniquity. He, amen. He's called good. Everybody say good. The good hand, the good Lord, the good man, the good master, the good shepherd, the good spirit. He's called goodness. He's called governor. Governor among the nations. Governor of Israel. Gracious. Great and grievous whirlwind. Great cloud. Great God. Great God above all gods. He's called great high priest. Great in counsel. Great in might. Great in Zion. Great king. Great king above all gods. Great king over all the earth. Great light. Great prophet. Great shepherd of the sheep. Greater and more perfect tabernacle. He's called great Greater than Abraham, greater than Jacob, greater than Jonah, greater than Moses, greater than Solomon. Hallelujah! Greater than the temple, greater witness than that of John. Greatly to be praised, greatest greatness of thine help and of greatness of thine excellency. Hallelujah! Greatness of thine arm. He's called the guest, the guide, the guide of thy youth. He's called the habitation, the habitation of justice. He's called the hand, the hand of God. He's called the harmless. He's called he in whom I trust. He it is that shall tread down our enemies. Amen! He that brought his people up out of the Red Sea with Moses the shepherd of his flock. He that created the old Jacob. He that formed the old Israel. He that giveth breath unto the people. He that giveth salvation unto kings. He that giveth spirit to them that walk therein. He that hath the key of David. He that hath the seven spirits of God. He that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. He that lifteth up the meek. He that loveth the righteous. He that looseth the, amen, the prisoners. Hallelujah! He that raiseth up the poor out of the dust. He that sanctifieth. He that shall have dominion. He that shall come. He that searcheth the hearts. He that setteth upon the circle of the earth. He that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it. He that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain. He which took me out of my mother's bowels. He which hath the sharp sword with, with two edges. He which is of God. He's called the head. The head above all. The head of every man. The head of all power. The head of all principality. The head of the body. The head of the church, the head of the corner, the head over all things to the church. He's called the headstone, the headstone 
of the corner. He's called the healer, the hearer, the heavenly father, the heavenly, the helper. Amen. He's called the health of my countenance. Hallelujah. He's called the heritage, the helper of the fatherless. He's called the hidden manna, the hiding place, the hiding place from the wind, higher than the earth, high above all the people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's called high and lofty God that inhabiteth eternity. He's called the high arm, the high God, the high tower, the high priest, the high priest forever after the order of Mount Kesedek, the high priest of good things to come, the high priest of our profession, the high priest over the house of God. He's the high tower. He's higher than the highest. He's higher than the heavens. He's high above all the kingdoms of the earth. He's called the highest. The highest himself. The highway. Hallelujah. And he's called him. Him that calleth for the waters of the sea. And poureth them out upon the face of the earth. Him that is able to keep you from falling. Him that is able to present you faultless. Him that is a power to establish you. Him that liveth forever and ever. Him that maketh the seven stars and all the on. Him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens. Him that maketh the, the day dark with night. And turneth the shadow of death into the morning. Hallelujah! He's called holy. Holy arm. Holy child Jesus. He is called the Holy Ghost. The Holy Father. The Holy Lord God. The Holy One. The Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Jacob. He's called the Holy Oracle. He's called the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of promise. The Holy Spirit of God. The Holy Thing. He's called the Hope. The Hope of glory. The Hope of Israel. The Hope of their fathers. Hallelujah! Woo! He's called the horn of salvation, the house of defense, the husband. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's the I am. I am alive forevermore. Yes. I am before yes. Abraham. I am from above. I am he. I am he that liveth and was dead. I am in the midst. I am not of this world. Amen. I am that I am. I am the God of Bethel. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that maketh all things. I am the Lord which hallow you. I that speak in righteousness, image of the invisible God. He's called him Immortal, incorruptible, impartial, inheritance, interpreter, invisible, hallelujah, intercessor. He's called Aishai, in, in whom we trust. Hallelujah. He's called Israel. Hallelujah. He's called Jah, Jehovah. He's called Jealous, Jealous God among you. He's called Jehovah Adantai, the Lord our Sovereign. He's called Jehovah Elohe, the Lord my God. He's called Jehovah Elohinu, the Lord our our God, Jehovah Elohita, the Lord thy God, Jehovah Elohim, the eternal creator, God over all things, the Lord God. He's called Jehovah Elion, Jehovah Most High, Jehovah Hosinu, Jehovah our Maker, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah will provide. He's called Jehovah in Kadesh, Jehovah that does sanctify you, Jehovah Nasi, Jehovah my banner, Jehovah. Jehovah Roy, Jehovah my shepherd, Jehovah Salem, Jehovah send peace, Jehovah Sabbath, Jehovah of hosts, he's called Jehovah Shama, Jehovah is there, Jehovah Sitkenu, Jehovah our righteousness, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ our Lord, Jesus Christ our Savior, Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, Jesus of Galilee, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews, Jesus Jesus the son of God. Jesus the son of Joseph. He's called a Jew. Joseph's son. He's called a judge. Judge of all men. Just and right is he. Judge of the quick and dead. Judge of the fatherless and widows. He, amen. 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 He's called the just. He's called the just God. The just man. The just person. The just one. And the justifier. Hallelujah. He's called the keeper, keeping mercy for thousands, kindness of God. He's called the king, king eternal, king forever and ever, king having salvation, king Jesus, king Jesus, king Jesus, king Jesus, king Jesus, king Jesus, king of all the earth, king of heaven, amen, king of Israel, king of Jacob, king of kings, King of nations, King of old, King of righteousness, King of saints, King of the Jews, King of Zion, King over all the earth.
king's strength, kinsman redeemer, knowledge of the most high. He's called the latter. He's called the lamb. He's called the lamb dumb before his shearer. He's called the lamb. Amen. In the midst of the throne. The lamb of God. The lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. He's called the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. He's called lamb to the slaughter. Lamb without blemish or spot. He's called the lamp. The last Adam. Amen. The latter rain. The leader. The leopard. The life. The life eternal. The lifter up of mine head. He's called the light. He's called the light of Israel, the light of life, the light of men, the light of the Gentiles, the light of the world, the light of the morning, and the light of thy countenance. He's called the lily of the valleys, the lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's called the living bread, the living bread which came down from heaven, the living father, the living stone, the living one, the long suffering, the Lord. He's called the Lord alone. He's called the Lord alone. He's called the Lord Christ, the Lord from heaven. He's called the Lord God, the Lord God of Shem, the Lord God of Israel, the Lord God of the Holy Prophets, the Lord God omnipotent. He's called the Lord Jehovah, Lord liveth, Lord mighty in battle, Lord most high, Lord my strength, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of hosts, Lord of heavens, Lord of lords, Lord of kings, Lord of peace, Lord of Sabaoth, Lord of the Sabbath, Lord of the heart. Lord over all. He's called Lord our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's called Lord on high. He's called Lord that created the old Jacob. He's called Lord that created the heavens and stretched them out. He's called Lord that made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is. Lord thy Redeemer that divided the sea whose waves roared. He's simply called Lord thy Redeemer. He's called Lord which can to forth his ice like morsels, Lord, which causeth the wind to blow and the waters flow, Lord, which covereth the heavens with clouds, prepareth rain for the earth, and maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He's called Lord, which doth build up Jerusalem, Lord, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, Lord, which gathereth together the outcasts of Israel. He's called that, Lord, which giveth food to the hungry. Lord, which give us snow like wool. Lord, hallelujah, which give us snow like wool. Lord, which give us to the moon, its ordinances and the stars for a light by night. The Lord, which give us the sun for a light by day. The Lord, which give us to the beast its food. The Lord, which hath blessed thy children within thee. The Lord, which hath strengthened up the bars of thy gates. Lord, which hath bound up all thy wounds and healeth the broken in heart. Lord, which is and which was and which is to come. Hallelujah! He's called that. Glory! Lord, which keepeth truth forever. Lord, which knoweth the hearts of all men. Lord, which lifteth up the meek. Lord, which looseth the prisoners. Lord, which loveth the righteous. Lord, which maketh peace in thy borders and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. Lord, which openeth the eyes of the blind. Lord, which preserveth the stranger. Lord, which raiseth them that are bowed down. Lord, which relieveth the widows and fatherless. Lord, which rideth upon a swift cloud. Lord, which scattereth his whole frost like ashes. Lord, which sendeth forth his commandment upon the earth. Lord, which sure sendeth out his commandment and breaketh the ice. Lord, which showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Lord, which telleth the number of the stars and calleth them all by their names. Lord, amen, 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 amen. Lord, which turneth the way of the wicked upside down. Lord, whose fire is in Zion and his furnace in Jerusalem. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's called the love, the love of God, the lover, the lowly, the lowly in heart. Hallelujah. 
He's called, made higher than the heavens. Maintainer, majesty, maker, man, man approved of God, man Christ Jesus, man of sorrows. He's called man of thy right hand, man of war, man that is thy fellow, man which told me all things that ever I did. Master, master in heaven, mediator, mediator of a better covenant, mediator of the new covenant, mediator of the, uh, uh, of the New Testament. Hallelujah. He's called the meek, the meekness of Christ. He's called the messenger of the covenant. He's called Messiah, Messiah the Prince. He's called mightier than I. He's called mighty God, mighty God of Jacob. He's called mighty hand of God, mighty, mighty in power and judgment, and mighty in work. Hallelujah. He's called the mighty to save, and the mighty man, and the mighty one, and the mighty one of God, and the mighty one of Jacob, and the mighty one of Israel. He's called mine elect. He's called the mighty voice. He's called the minister. Minister of the circumcision. Minister of the sanctuary. Minister of the true tabernacle. Most high. Most high over all the earth. He's called the most high God. Most holy. Most mighty. Most upright. My father's God. He's called a nail fastened in a sure place. He's called a nailer. He's called a namer. Nazarene. Newsbringer. Nobleman. He's called the numberer. Nourish of mine old age. Oh Lord my God. Oh God my God. Oh God of Jacob. Oh Israel. Oh Lord of hosts that tries the righteous and seest the reins and the heart. He's called oh Lord our shield. He's called of whom are all things. He's called offerer. Offering. Offering for sin. Offspring of David. Ointment poured forth. Omnipotent one. Omniscient one. Omnipotent present one, the one Father, the one God, the one Christ Jesus, the one Lord, the one Jesus Christ, the one Shepherd, the one Spirit, the one that bringeth good tidings. Hallelujah! The only begotten of the Father, the only begotten Son of God. Amen! The only Lord God, the only potentate, the only true God, only wise God, our Savior. He's called oppressed. Our God, our God forever and ever. And He's called the overcomer. He's called the Passover, the peace. Pearl of great price. Perfect. Perfect in knowledge. Hallelujah. He's called the performer, the physician. He's called the pillar of fire by day. Pillar of fire by night. He's called place of broad rivers and streams. Place of refuge. Plant of renown. He's called, he, he's called a pleader. He's called a pleasant. He's called plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon Him. He's called the polished shaft. Thank you, Jesus. He's called the portion, the portion of Jacob, portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Hallelujah. He's called the possessor. He's called the possession. He's called possessor of heaven and earth, possessor of the keys of death and of hell. He's called the potter. He's called the power, the power of Christ, the power of God, the power of the highest. Woo! Hallelujah. The precious, the precious cornerstone. Amen, 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 amen. He's called the presence and preserver, priest, prince, prince of kings of the earth, prince of life, prince of priests, prince of princesses. Hallelujah. He's called the, the promise of the Father, promise of life, prophet, prophet mighty in word and deed before God and all people, prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. He's prophet of the highest, prophet that should come into the world. He's called perpetuation, perpetuation for our sins. Whew. He's called the perjurer and the purifier. He's called the queller of storm and strife, the questioner, the quickening spirit, the, the, the quencher of thirst. He's the rabbi, the rebonia. He's called that. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. He's called the ransom for all. He's called the ransom of many. He's called the redeemer, the reaper, the reconciler, the record. He's called the redemption of Israel, the refuge, the refuge in the day of affliction, the refuge in the day of my trouble, refuge from the storm, refiner, refiner's bar. He's called reproach of men. He's called the reprover. Amen. Amen. He's called the rest. 
He's called, my friend, the restorer, the restorer of life, the resurrection and the life. He's called the resting place. He's the revealer, the revealer of secrets, the reverend and the rewarder, the rich in mercy, rich in mercy unto all them that call upon Him. He's called the righteous, the righteous branch, the righteous Father, the righteous God, the righteous servant, the righteous one, Whoa! and the righteousness. He's called the, the river, the river of waters in a dry place. He's called the rock, the rock of ages. He's called the rock of Israel. He's called the rock of offense. He's called the rock of my life. The rock of my salvation. The rock of my strength. He's the rock that's higher than I. Rock that is higher than I. Hallelujah! Amen! He's called the rock that begat thee. He's called my friend the rose of Sharon. He's called the rowan heart. He's called the root and offspring of David. He's called the root of Jesse. The root out of a dry ground. The ruler, the ruler in Israel. He's called the sacrifice, the salvation. The salvation of God. The salvation of Israel. The salvation under the ends of the earth. He's called the Samaritan, the same. Hallelujah, the sanctification. He's called the sanctified in righteousness. The sanctuary, the Savior. The Savior of all men. The Savior of the body. The Savior of the world. Savior thereof in time of trouble. He's called the Savior of His knowledge. The scapegoat. The scepter. He's called the seal and the sealer. He's called the second man. The seed of Abraham. The seed of the woman. The seed of David. He is called, yes sir, the separate from sinners. The servant. The seven spirits of God. The shade upon thy right hand. The shadow from the heat. Shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Shadow of the Almighty. Sharp sword. Seed to the slaughter. Shelter. Shepherd. Shepherd of Israel. Shepherd of your souls. He's called a seal. Seal of thy help. Seal of thy salvation. Hallelujah. He's called Shiloh. Amen. Shout of a king. Sign. Sin bearer. He's called Sir. Smitten of God. Smitten shepherd. He's called a snare. A son. A son of Abraham. A son of David. A son, amen, of God, a son of His love, a son of man, a son of Mary, a son of peace. He's called the son of the blessed, the son of the father, the son of the highest, the son of the living God, the son of the most high God. He's called the son over His own house. He's called the song, the sower, and the spirit. He's called the spirit of adoption. He's called the spirit of Christ. The spirit of counsel. Amen. Amen. The spirit of burning. The spirit of faith. The spirit of glory. The spirit of God. The spirit of grace. The spirit of holiness. The spirit of His Son. The spirit of Jesus Christ. The spirit of judgment. The spirit of knowledge. The spirit of life. The spirit of the Lord God. The spirit of might. The spirit of power. The spirit of prophecy. The spirit of supplication. The spirit of a sound mind. The spirit of righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. The spirit of the, of the Father. He's called the spirit of the God. The spirit of the living creature. The spirit of the living God. The, the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of truth. The spirit of wisdom. He's called the spiritual rock. The star out of Jacob. Steadfast forever. Still small voice. Stone. Stone chosen of God and precious. Stone of Israel. Stone of stumbling. Stone which the builders disallowed. He's called the stranger. The strength. The strength in the time of trouble. The strength of hand. He's called the strength of Israel. He's called the strength of my life. He's called the strength to the needy in their distress. Strength to the stranger stretched out arm. He is called the stricken, the strong God, the strong habitation, the strong hand, the strong hold, the strong Lord, the strong rock, the strong refuge, the strong tower. He's called the sufferer, the son, the son of righteousness, the supplier, sure and steadfast, sure foundation, surety of a better testament, sweet smelling savor. He's called Oh, my friend, the sharp sword. He's called the sword of, of thy excellency. Sword of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's called the tabernacle. A taxpayer. He's called a teacher. A teacher come from God. A temple. A tender one. A tender plant. Terrible. Terrible God. Terrible out of thy holy places. He's called a terror. He's called a testator. That would by no means clear the guilty. The Christ. He's called the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. 
joy, the tile of salvation. Amen. The transfigured son, the true bread from heaven. He's called the thick cloud. Thine arm, thine holy one, thine inheritance. He's called thou that dwellest between the cherubim. Thou that hearest prayer. Thou that inhabitest the places of Israel. Thou that leadest Jacob or Joseph like a flock. Thou that savest them by thy right hand. Them which put their trust in thee. Thy praise, thy part, treasure. He's called true, true God, true light, true vine, true witness. He's called the trust and the truth. Well, hallelujah! He's the unchangeable, the unchangeable priest, the unchangeable God, the uncorruptible God, the undefiled, the unction from on high, the unifier, amen, the upgrader, the unknown God, the unspeakable gift. Oh, hallelujah. He's called the valent, the vanquisher, the very Christ, the very present help in trouble. He's called the vicarious sacrifice, the victor, the victory of Israel, the bind, the vindicator. He's called the voice, the visitor, the voice from heaven, the voice of God, the voice of the Almighty, the voice of the living God, the voice of the Lord your God. Woo! Hallelujah! We're almost home. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We're almost home. Let me tell you, I've already run towards you about 1130. I got about 60 more to go. Coming down the main, he's ever been of me too. Well, hallelujah. Let me run it down now. Here it is. He is the wall, the wall of fire, the water of life. He's the watcher. He's the way. He's the way of holiness. He's the way of life. The wedding garment. The wear. The well of living water. The well beloved. Amen. The wheel in the midst of the wheel. Which art and was and art to come. Which entereth into that within the veil. Which is and which was and which is to come. The, he is the whirlwind. The whirlwind of God. Amen. Who is worthy to be praised. Who only doeth wondrous things. Who only hath immortality. Who holdeth the seven. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. The wisdom. The wisdom of God. The wisdom of the just. The wise in heart. The wonderful in counsel, the wonderful, the wonder worker, the witnesser to the people, the witness. He's the word, the word of Christ, the word of God. Hallelujah. The word of life, the word of the Lord. He's the worker, the worthy, the worm. He's a wounded for our transgression. He's yesterday, he's the day, he's forever, he's the young child, he's the seal of the land of hearts.
him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Don't you? Hallelujah. You see, Jesus could just as well make Matthew 28, 19 over 1,200 titles long. It was the same identical thing. Baptize them in the name. give other people, we give other people uh, standing ovations. Let's give King Jesus one. Come on. Come on. want you to do? Now you think of all them 1,200 titles I just gave you. Think of all of them. Just put them all in the name of Jesus. Lay your hand on your neighbor's shoulder and just say, Jesus. 